My name's Ski Okafull and I'm a course developer and instructor at Point Blank. Today we're going to attempt to make a track out of sampling vinyl only. Search out a few records, sample them, put them into Ableton and then just see what happens. Hey Hon, how's right. it going? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad. Um, I'm looking to make a track exclusively with samples. Obviously this is the best place to be for that. So, um, yeah. But can you kind of point me in the right direction? First place I would go would be the bargain sessions on the floor. You see all the stuff out there. Um, you find pretty much any genres. Cool, all right. And also I'm looking for something that's kind of maybe a bit experimental, like electronic, you know, like stop housing any weird kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just go ahead and uh, get ahead start and I'll talk okay. to you later. Fantastic, all right, Excellent. cool. I just love this idea of sifting through kind of records that people have discarded uh, and actually thinking about putting, you know, getting them back and putting them into something new, creative recycling. Right, so basically, all the stuff down here is a pound, I think, a pound each, and then this is the expensive stuff up here. And uh, I can already see some cool stuff. Look at this, check this out. Bruno Spoeri. I mean, that's, that looks good straight away. She's got a lot of synths on the front and a uh, guy looking very geeky. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to look at that. So yeah, the kind of things I'm looking for are maybe like acapellas or um, dubs or, you know, those kind of things. I'm just looking for sounds that have uh, on the records that are going to be exposed. They're going to be obviously easy to sample. So, okay, well, I mean, that's got breaks on it. So that's bound to be uh, something a bit interesting on that. Remember them? Entrance. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I've got no idea what kind of what track I'm going to make. It could be hip hop, could be house, could be trance. Who knows? But I'm going to put that aside. Let's just move over to the next crate. There we go. Espionage, sex education. Actually, my son is uh, doing sex education at the moment. Foxy Brown. Ah, oh. acapella. Fantastic. The randomness of it all is the beauty of it, really. Falla, nights in the gardens of Spain. Often these kind of classical records are good for kind of hip-hop samples, so got to give that a listen. If I can see there's like a Fender Rhodes on the record, you know, anything like if Herbie Hancock or something like that would be obviously like brilliant sample. Shakedown at night, remixes, that's got an acapella on it as well, so that could be pretty cool. Stock Aitken and Waterman, we've got to check out something really cheesy. I reckon that's enough to be getting on with. Right, let's check out this one first. Shakedown, uh, what's going to say, it's acapella. I kind of know the track, but I just um, can have a listen to it. Pella. Yeah, I think I feel much better at night. That's wicked. Yeah, I love that kind of gated vocal thing. I can definitely hear something in there. So let's check out this classical record. Fala Nights in the Garden of Spain. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. got to use that. I'm not even going to bother listening to the rest of that because that's fantastic. Definitely hear something in that. Foxy Brown. Quite a nice guitar there. Exposed guitar. Not only that, but there's a, there's a clap. You can hear that kind of clap, that's fantastic. Let's just check out the acapella. Jam, baby, all the way. Yes. From the streets of BK. Alright, well, Lord. that's great as well. Sex education. Subject. Not sure about that. That's kind of like intense, kind of acid. Okay. Okay. Quite like that beat, so maybe we can use that. I'm going to put that aside uh, as a maybe. So, getting there, Entrance. Oh, that's good. Quite a cool effect. Ah, I like that a lot. Yeah, that's definitely, there's a kind of, yeah, real exposed beat. Okay. That's good, gonna open hi-hat. I think I can definitely use that. Botch it breaks. 
That's great. Okay, I want that. This is the expensive one. Oh. <laughs> That's beautiful. Ridiculous. Gotta have that. I just wonder if Stock Aiken and Waterman can provide any uh, interesting samples. <laughs> Kind of good groove, but I'm not really feeling that kind of squawky sap sound. Um, Hon, did you manage to find a record? I did find something actually. Okay. Electronic, experimental. Yeah, give this a go. Cool. Mirror Calyx. Straight away. Kind of kalimba, kalimba sounds. Oh yeah. That's perfect. Wow, well I've just got like <laughs> an amazing collection of sounds. I'm really, really happy with that. Okay, so back from Vinyl Pimp, brought my vinyl and uh, we're gonna try and make a track. So uh, I've got Ableton Live here and Push and uh, I'm gonna be recording some samples straight into some clips here. Push is gonna really help me with that. A couple of settings I just need to do first. Uh, I'm just gonna set uh, the global quantize to none and also go into preferences and just set the counting to none as well. Let's look at our first record here. This is uh, on Def Jam and it's Foxy Brown featuring the letter M. I need a man. There you go. There's that clap. Let's just take that back. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. Um, let's listen further down the track. I think there was like a good bass lick at the end. Let's just take it back. Great, so there's a couple of samples to start with. Okay, so next we've got Entrance, Set You Free. I like that beat a lot. Cool, so we've got that one. Let's see if there's anything else on this. Quite like that open hat. And there's a big kick on there as well. That makes it quite, quite good to get. Yeah, let's take that from the start. There we go. Um, before I carry on, actually, I think I should do a little bit of housekeeping. So uh, these first two were Foxy Brown, so let's just call those FB. There we go. And uh, these next two were Entrance. So let's just name those. And uh, I think we should colour these as well. Make those red. Green, kind of similar colour to the uh, covers of the album. Um, espionage, sex education. I like that glitch sound, that's great. And I think there was a kind of, good kind of boom sound at the end as well. Let's just, let's just get that. There we go. There's definitely a couple of things there I can get. Okay, let's just have a look at the uh, B side as well. Like that beat. Cool, so there's a couple of great samples from there. Let's just color these. There we go and name them as well, Sex Ed. There we go, so Shakedown, At Night, remixes. I'm sure everyone knows this track. Um, let's have a look at the uh, a cappella of this. You know I feel, I think I feel much better at night. Definitely better to do something with that. This is the classical record, Falla, Nights in the Gardens of Spain. 
quite quiet. I'm going to have to boost that up, definitely. Okay. And let's just increase the level here and just have a quick listen to it. That's great. Cool, so there's one more record here. This is um, Mira Calix, Eyes Set Against the Sun. It's a bit of a dream, this record. Great. Okay, so we've got the samples in there. This is generally how I like to work. I like to just kind of spend a bit of time just getting the audio in and then kind of actually sitting down and concentrating on making a track. I'm trying to make one anyway. Um, so just a couple of things to do. I'm going to put this Global Quantize uh, back to one bar again and uh, just put the counting back to one bar as well. I think the first thing is to maybe try and look for some, some of these drum sounds. So um, I'm going to uh, bring up a uh, drum rack. There we go. Let's just drag one over. There we go. And uh, let's just listen to this. I remember this clap that we had here. There we go. So very, very simple. I'm just going to drag this clip straight onto there. Let's just turn the level up a little bit. There we go. Just getting the start point here. That's the one. And I can hear this like a little bit of crackle at the end there, which is great. It's one of the brilliant things about sampling off vinyl is it's never totally clean. You know, you're always going to get a bit of vinyl crackle. Okay, just increase the release a bit. Cool, liking that a lot. So yeah, let's listen to this entrance. Come to that one in a minute. Yeah, it's definitely this open hat and the kick as well. So let's try and get that. Um, I'm going to drag that over twice actually, or, or drag it over and then copy it. So let's put that into there. That's going to be my kick pad, and then this is going to be my open hat. So let's just uh, let's just try and find this kick sound now. Just drag this start point over. There we go. That's got a lovely attack to it actually. Just want to get rid of that hat that's coming just after it. Put the accent on. There we go already. Got something going on there. Might be nice just to take a bit of the high frequency off maybe. But maybe I can come back to that. And let's just go for this uh, open hat now as well. Take that end point there. There we go. So um, next with this, uh, this. Yes, that glitch. I want to get that glitch in there with that kind of boom at the end as well. So um, let's just stop that. And uh, I'm going to do a similar thing actually. I'm just going to drag this onto a pad and then just copy that as well. So this, this one here is going to be the glitch. It's a bit of a laborious process this, but you know, once it's in, then you can actually start getting creative with it. You kind of got to go through this really. Okay, that's nice. And then just get this big boom at the end. Yeah, what we haven't got is a kind of closed hat. And I think that uh, from this, there we go. There's a great kind of closed hat there and a great snare as well. So what I'm going to do with this uh, is actually use uh, slice to MIDI. So I'm just going to actually kind of loop it up. Okay, so let's just uh, take warping off to start off, start off with. Great, there we go. So let's just uh, turn warping back on again. And go, let's just zoom in, find the start point. There we go, set 1.1 there. Loop this. So let's just go to slice to MIDI. So I'm just going to right click on that. Slice to new MIDI track. Let's just use the tra transients. There we go, and then that's put that autom automatically into a drum rack. There we go, so we've got a great hat there. 
a great snare as well. So what we can do is actually just drag these back into our original drum rack. So let's just get this hat here. There we go. Let's just put that, uh, I don't know, where should we put it? Let's put it into there. And then this snare, let's put that under here. So then we can just, if I just go onto this drum rack now, that sounds great. And we can just get rid of that track now. Cool, so I think that's kind of sounding quite hip hop. So I think we should actually, at this point, actually try putting in a beat. Okay, let's just take the first two bars of that. Take the metronome off. I think we need a little bit of swing on that. Okay, let's just take that clap out there. And I need to look at the kind of release times of those as well. Okay, so let's just uh, go for the quantize. Let's just set, set the swing to, I don't know, about 20%. Cool. Put this snare in as well. Just going to go for that snare, snare and just set the release a little bit on that. There we go. And the release on this kick as well. Cool, so I'm actually just going to uh, duplicate this loop, sort of double the length, there we go, and then maybe just see if I can fit in this kind of glitch sound and maybe the open hat as well. In fact, before I do that, I'm just going to set a level of that down a little bit. There we go. Cool. Okay, let's just take out that snare as well. So I just quantize that as well. Now at this point, um, I think it might be quite good to uh, look at this this uh, Fala sample. If you remember that, this kind of classical, because I think this is going to fit really nicely over. And I think also it could be good to actually put it into the drum rack so we can kind of play it like MPC style. Uh, so let's just bring the drum rack up, and I'm just going to drag this over. Uh, I think the first thing to do is just to work on the first sample and I'm just going to increase the volume because remember it was really quiet. There are three hits, there's the first one, second one and then this one where it kind of changes to a different chord, I really love that. Let's just bring the level down a little bit on this, uh, on this channel. Okay so there's the first one, uh, let's just Take the end point over, increase the release time. There we go, and I'm just going to copy that over to two other, to the other two other pads, so we can then just get the other start points of those other chords. Third one. There we go. Let's just play the beat. Ties to the same. There we go, swing, still on. Um, next, I'm going to look at uh, some of these other beats here. Let's just uh, see what we've got here. Let's just. This one, this could be quite good, just kind of looped. So I'm just going to uh, just create a new track there. And uh, let's just drag that over. There we go. And let's just take warping off and let's just play this. OK, 
Okay, let's just turn the warping on. There we go. And let's just set 1.1 from there. Okay, let's just drag this over. It's going to set the warping to complex. So let's just uh, make that as the loop. And let's just see how that fits with uh, our beat. Put the loop on. There we go. Working well. It doesn't seem to be sitting totally right, this uh, kind of fella loop, or the fella sample. And I've got a feeling it's just to do with the start point of this. Yeah, there. It's a bit lagging, so let's just... Let's just see what that sounds like. Let's see if that's better. You can drag it a little bit further, I think. Okay, so the next thing to look at is uh, this shakedown. Actually, no, there's one other that I forgot about here, which is this bass loop. Got to put that in. So let's just uh, <coughs> drag that over. There we go. And uh, I'm just going to use warping for this as well. There we go. So let's just make that set 1.1 from there. Set the end there. Now what I need to do actually is, uh, if I just play this with this, it's kind of not sitting, uh, it's not actually in the right key. So uh, I've got to determine uh, what key this Fala sample is in. Okay, so I'm thinking that's in C sharp. And then if I play this loop now, So that's in B flat. So that means I need to actually transpose this bass up three semitones, one, two, three, two, so it's in C sharp. So if I try that, uh, let's just see what that sounds like. Uh, there we go, just literally just goes to the transpose there. There we go. That's working well. Okay, so now let's look at the uh, shakedown sample. So again, I'm just going to uh, create uh, another audio track. Let's just drag that over. Okay, so if we start from here. Cool, so let's turn the warping back on. We basically just need to get those kind of chopped gated vocal things in time with the beat. So let's just set 1.1 here. There we go. And just turn the metronome on. Uh, okay, so I'm going to drag this. I'm going to have to actually sort of do this pretty much by eye. And actually, just take it, put it to complex. So I'm just going to count these. So uh, put a wall marker there. Up to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if this first one's working. There we go. And then this next one's going to go over here. And then this one's going to go here. There we go. So let's listen to that. Just loop that. Nice. So let's just work out what key this is in. So this is in. It looks like it's in F. We want it to be in C sharp. So one, two, three, four. We want to go down four semitones. So let's just. Uh, do that now and see if that's working and play it with the rest of the samples or the loops. Okay, so that's working well. I think we could also be quite creative with this as well. We could maybe use um, the transposition modulation so we could actually kind of bring it down. Maybe for the second two bars, we can just kind of bring it down a tone or two tones. So, um, Let's just have a look at that. Let's just go to the clip and yeah, transposition modulation. Let's just open this up. Just talking, yeah, that last bar. Let's just try that. So let's just bring that down. One tone there. And then for the second 
half of that bar down another tone. <laughs> Go. Okay, so we've got one more sample to go, which I think is this, yeah, this um, Mira Calex. So what I'm going to do with this is um, I'm going to create a sampler instrument and uh, just span it across the keyboard and then just have a play around on the push and uh, see if there's anything we can get out of that one. So let's just drag that straight onto the area where it says drop sample there. There we go. So many great sounds here. I think this one here. Okay. Cool. So I'm just going to zoom in on this, make sure it's nice and tight. Cool. So let's just go up to here now. I'm going to change this to chromatic. And let's just try putting uh, some reverb on this. Okay, so what we could do now is um, just just rough out a really quick arrangement. So uh, let's just uh, copy these over. There we go. Let's just uh, take that at night out one there. Okay, let's just take this out as well. Okay. There you go. If you want to try it out for yourself, I thoroughly recommend going into a record shop, just picking out some records and just coming back and having fun and uh, getting a beat together. <laughs>